folks, time for another project on the junky truck. Anyway, it won't be junky forever. So I want to change these hoses out because I have no idea how old they are. Same for these, the heater hoses. Um, I don't have a drain cock on this, but I do have a piece of rubber hose that somebody put on here. That'll work. So I'm going to loosen this and then we drain it. Uh, into a bucket. I'm using a rodent bait bucket because that's just what I happen to have it happy. Handy that is empty. Doesn't matter. It used to contain poison. It's about to contain some more poison. So let me see if I can get the camera positioned in here and we'll get this and see how if I can get it off here without getting wet. All right. It's probably not the best uh, visual here, but sorry. So it is 5 sixteenths, but I'm going to need to get in here with a flex bit because it's just not a very good install. Alright, so that's loose. shouldn't be dry. Maybe it just needs a way out. a pet cock over here. All right. I didn't see that. I thought that was another transmission. All right. So we're going to press all this in here. You know what? You guys don't need to watch this. I'm going to put that clamp back on. Okay. So we have what appears to be a transmission cooler line here. And so I assumed, well, I did see that one. I didn't see this. That's the pet cock to drain the radiator. So that's what I'm going to listen next. Oh, of course, no good deed goes unpunished. That will not be hand loosenable. So let me get some pliers. All right. So I think we've screwed up a whole bunch of video today. Uh, I'm working on changing. Ah, darn it. Really? Ah, fucker. All right. I'm going to get a different wrench. I'll be right back. All right. So I'm working on changing the radiator hoses and um, the drain valve on the radiator just doesn't work. So that's one of my headaches. And then the next headache is that the, uh, this hose clamp was put on from above when the shroud wasn't in place. So now that the shroud is in place, you can't get the hose clamp off. And that's just lazy, stupid mechanicing, which this truck is full of. And that's why I'm fixing this shit because, yeah, on the side of the road is not where you want to discover that the last idiot to work on it didn't think about actually working on it again. No, it is not one quarter, it is five sixteenths. It's just fucking impossible to get a wrench on. There is another way to deal with these clamps. I'm not ready to go there yet. Oh, the hell with it. So the other way you deal with these clamps, you just break them. 
gotta be able to get them first. size this is. It's not quarter and it's not five sixteenths. Although five sixteenths does seem to be able to turn it. <sighs> On the bright side it is a Gates hose so it's not it's been replaced once. Probably when they put in whatever this radiator is. Alright, and now it's gonna start dripping. Alright, so that's a good time for the Vita. Just kind of pause and let it do. is actually to change these out so that's 516. So we're gonna go ahead and start working on the other hoses. Again some jackass worked on this. Sorry, the visuals on this one suck, but this is difficult to get to for me. And the power tool definitely helps make that a lot easier. Alright, so, again... Oops, helps me put the, uh, it, or the socket on. Yes, yes it does. Alright. Okay, and again, I'm sorry the visuals aren't that great, but this is a difficult spot to get to and put a camera on. Might as well really loosen this one while we're at it. All right. All right, camera positioning is a little better on that one. Uh, I, need a, I need something to stand on.
So, you will want to use a pair of pliers. And you really want to sit here at the right angle. All you're trying to do is rotate it to break the grip. Oops. All right, same thing over here. And this will be a little easier for you all to see. So you come in and grab the hose gently. And you'll need to adjust your pliers a lot of times. And what you want to do is just grab it and twist. onto the metal and <clears throat> these are shitty clamps <clears throat> and fried hose this would be easier if it was any other kind of clamp these clamps are actually making this much, much harder than it needs to be. I don't see that this is going to get any better. The issue is the clamps aren't letting go. So that's without twisting, I can't pull it loose. And then if you come in here and you know, it's just so irritating that this shit's just not designed to be worked on.
right. So I'm going to give this a little bit more time to drain and I got to think about that uh, heater hose that wouldn't come off. Maybe I can grab it. There we go. Just a little bit past its prime. Alright, so that's the hose that removed, except for the lower one, I'm going to wait for it to drain. Alright, so we're going to start putting back together, and I'm using new Gates hose with quality clamps that came from Rock Auto, so I at least have a chance that they're not Chinese in junk.
It's going to be bad. Just point this that way. So a pair of hose cutters will make your life much, much simpler when you're trying to redo these. So I want this hose to route under here, under here. So I'm going to cut it a little bit long, all right, and then I've got an extra piece of hose that I can't really do anything with, and I'll, I'll finish trimming this when everything else is back in. For now, it's just going to sit up there. All right. So I'm giving myself a place to lever in here, and again, I want this hose routed in a specific out of the place, not just snake across the fucking hood engine oh my god what a pain in the ass as a kid's glasses were a fucking pain in the ass What we want. We want this out of the way. to barely bite in and then I'm good. So at this point, um, I really need to resolve the length of that one and I can't do that until the rest of this is put back together. So um, that's it for that for the moment. Now there's no reason that this can't go here. This is just an anti-chaff so it can go right back where it was. Uh, let me see if I can find the clamp for it. the clamp, but I have a clamp, and that'll work. And we're going to mind that we keep both of these in the same orientation. 
quality plant you can start by hand. Good enough. It's just an anti-chaff shape. Alright, so we got one hose left. Well, we need to put that hose in, but we got the hose at the bottom that needs to come out. Uh, let me pour some more water in the top. Alright, so I've got a brand new Gates 21721. This is the upper hose, and I have brand new high-quality hose clamps to go on here. not too hard. Okay, so all we got left is the lower and that's going to be a pain in the ass.
but now I can't. God damn it. There's just not any clearance in here. That's that's the issue. Alright, I'll try a 930 second inch socket. doesn't fit either. It's gotta be a fucking metric. So it is an 8mm wrench. Whoever put this in here is an idiot. Thinking that you're going to take the radiator shroud off every time you want to remove the hose. let that drain down and then we'll pull it off all right I expect this to get messy but we're trying oh, that is not wrong I'm gonna go get some uh, just uh, reverse osmosis water and flush this a little bit more. I'll be right back. All right, so we have uh, drained out whatever's gonna drain out. Wiggle that hose loose. Time for plier trick. There we go. Woo! That's seen better days. Time for a new one. Alright, so. Now I gotta tighten the bolt. We'll do that from up top first. That's about right. Mm. <sighs> 
want to see that a little higher up. Well, that's not right because we can pull it off so we got to fix that first uh, that means either the hose isn't on enough or the clamp from the wrong spot so either way got to fix that all right that's fixed so now we got to get this in here and again I think this is going to be that big of a deal. Alright, so that's in where I want it. Now I got to tighten it. This is really like a three handed operation. tight but I think it'll work. I wonder if this hose is backwards. No, I don't think so. I need to fill it with water and uh, put the alternator and the belts back on. Um, I'm going to do that after lunch. I'm going to rest because it's uh, 90 screw that out and I don't like to work it up when it's out. Oh look, it's a split rubber boot on whatever this is. Uh, it looks like a tie rod arm of some kind. Idler arm. Yeah, but all the suspension shit needs to be replaced. I bet every last bit of it's fucked up. Yeah, whatever this is needs to be replaced. That boot doesn't look so healthy. Uh, let's wait and see if the gearbox leaks, because this just looks like it's going to be so much fun to change if it does. Let's see what else we got. Yeah, that's a tie rod. Where did that stupid fucking... All right, that's it for now.